Hello. This is June 18th. It's a Tuesday. And the time is 3.40. This is the chicken coop greenhouse. Chicken coop and a greenhouse. Um, I originally did this two years ago uh, when I first got the chickens. Actually, I, I got the eggs to a website and, and hatched the chickens and raised them myself. And they made a they made two years old April 27th of 2013 and I built this extension not long ago I guess maybe two months ago I built this extension so they can have more room to move around and uh, they seem to be pretty happy with it uh, I got five first start off with three well, actually I had more than that but uh, I had two roosters I gave them away because they made too much noise I had three hens so I got two more hens another uh, feed store and uh, they were young I guess it was two months and they're, not, they're older now it's the brown one right here her and one of the other speckled ones I'm not sure which one <laughs> they got all all four speckles and the grass here is left here around here to to feed to them every day when I feed them to have access because they love to eat grass and plus it's nutrition for the eggs as well a green barrel plan to put a uh, source to get water when it rains uh, eventually and what I did was I eventually had this green this greenhouse so I decided to make half of it a chicken coop so which I did which limited me to what I can plant here so what I did was I actually um, did some gardening this time and I added to I added some irrigation. So here, I looked on a website and I brainstormed a lot of things trying to figure out how to do this less expensively. And PC pipes was the least expensive way to do it if you, if you can be a little creative with it. So I decided, made a diagram, decided to get closer here. This here is a filter that I added to timer. The timer is actually a um, you hook it to your faucet, your regular faucet, and your water hose if you want to time the water to come on a certain time. I have it timed for 4.30 a.m. every single day. It comes on. And the filter here that you see right there, the black one, is the filter, the filter of water that goes to PC pipe because I got little 1 16th holes inside uh, drilled in these pipes here. Those are 1 half inch pipes. And I have a shut off bag here. I got, I did the underground piping long ago before I even laid any of this down. So it's just been sitting here. I had it capped. So I utilized it. So it, it comes from here, from the ground here, and it goes up here. I cut the water right there. And it goes through here and uh, through the filter. And then the timer controls all the piping. So how I have it right now. The piping uh, from here on over here goes to the faucet. And uh, I use this here if I just want to water something with it. Right here. So that cuts on and off. And then I have the pipe that comes from one pipe, actually, that comes right here because it controls all the irrigation. It comes here goes down here, breaks off in two parts right here. You can see one goes to the left and one goes over here to the other side. And as you can see, it looks around and go all the way over here. And it's capped off over there. So I, that's a three-fourth inch pipe. And then I have all the rest of them that's coming out are actually one half. And uh, they all have uh, they all have corks on every single one of them. So I drilled 116 holes in all of them to water over the plants you see here. This is a corn. Got two rows of corn here, and I believe that's either watermelon. Uh, I'm not sure what it is actually because those are some plants that I had planted before and it, it was in the little starter plants and I just killed it over and it wound up start growing so I just planted it there. I'll find out later what it is. And I have corn over here growing as well. 
we have tomatoes over here. Tomatoes. And um, corn here. So that's what's growing at the moment. And I have uh, I have uh, strawberries, and I also have uh, some more watermelon and some more um, tomatoes. I also have bell pepper, the red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. I got it over in pots right now. I'm going to transfer it later. I was getting used to the, the, the weather out here. Because a lot of times you put them in shock when you, when you kind of add, put them in the sun right away. But this is the irrigation part of it. Now what I plan to do is disconnect. I plan to put a T-pipe here, piece here, where it can come down and connect to the bottom one here. So it can be separate. So when I have the water on like it is now, I can always use the faucet. Right now, in order to use the faucet, I have to go in here and un and change to just run so I can use the faucet. But it also cuts the sprinklers on, which when I want to just use it, I don't want to do that. So I want to have a different act, um, way of doing it. That way I'll have, uh, I can use access to the faucet at any time without even bothering the time or anything. And just cut it off here, and I had no problem. Just cut it off, use it and cut it off, and the time is already set. I don't have to worry about it at all. So that's kind of how I have it. And uh, eventually, I have power going to the, the chicken coop. Uh, this is the wiring here. I plan to put it on the ground really, really soon before I get everything done. I plan to put a, before winter time, I plan to put a wall. Uh, cover all this up. Got the materials already. Plan to cover all this up and grow even in the winter time. On the back of here, I had put it out because last year the chickens had the luxury of air condition. Uh, this year they won't <laughs> uh, because you know I want to run the bill up too much, and that's why I get the eggs at here. Now, but they do have a little vent here. It's timed whenever it gets below. Uh, whenever it gets to about 90 degrees or close to 90, this comes up, comes on, and it, it circles like the air for them. Then I have this here, uh, where I uh, get the eggs at. Here. Let's see if there's any eggs in here. And I got two eggs here. No, three eggs, actually. Eggs. But anyway, that's the way it looks in here. Got a little feeder there, a little water over there, and then two waters over there. And that's the AC. And that's the door. And those are the eggs. Get the eggs. Three eggs today out of five chickens. fan there sucks the air through and what it does it gives the chickens I can't see it see here if I can I like to come out every time I come out here it's a little bin over there where they go in and out over there and uh, see if I can close it up there it is they go in and out that thing and the air flows through there and they used to go inside and enjoy the airflow. They're blocking it right now. <laughs> but uh, that's where it is. You see back there where that thing's moving. And uh, they got water inside there as well. They pretty seem to be pretty happy chicken. But uh, that's about all what I have so far with the irrigation. Uh, coming back to that. So it cuts down and it, it does pretty well. I only have holes where the plants are and when I add other plants I drill holes there where it could also be watered. Now I do have a, a gauge here, right there, where I regulate how much water uh, comes out as far as the force and sprinkling and everything. Even though I have a, a control valve here, it's the 50. I think it's PSI that comes through there. It kind of stops the water a little bit from coming through as quickly. But I still can regulate it from here. 
anyway, that's uh, that's about all. And uh, I haven't fed the chickens yet, but I'll see when the sun kind of goes down when they're able to come out and enjoy the cool weather while they eat. But uh, that's uh, the whole thing. And uh, I have to excuse the noise. I actually should put it loud. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna grow vegetables and have produce at the same time. Say bye, chickens.